Did Robin Hood really rob from the rich and give to the poor? Now, historically speaking, there was more than one Robin Hood. There were in fact several different men throughout the medieval period who inspired the legend. And I can't speak for all of them, but when it comes to the man who inspired the early ballads, Robert Hood of Wakefield, that's me by the way, I'm afraid the notion of stealing from the rich to give to the poor is somewhat of a fairy tale. The concept of me robbing from the rich to give to the poor is something that came into the legend a couple of hundred years after the original ballads, where people at folk festivals would dress as Robin Hood and force revenue to hand out money and food for charitable causes and this tradition has made it all the way into the modern media interpretations of the legend don't get me wrong we certainly rob from the rich well from the church but giving to the poor was a different story altogether the majority of people in medieval England were serfs and it would have been extremely difficult to redistribute the stolen wealth without their masters becoming aware and punishing them for consorting with outlaws and I know it's a very romantic idea the hooded outlaw riding through throwing bags of gold to the peasants but it just simply wouldn't have been feasible but we were still heroes to the people not because we gave them gold but because we inspired them we struck a blow for the common man by standing up and fighting back against the corrupt religious institutions that ran the country these kind of religious communities were notorious for their greed lax morals and hypocritical lifestyles everybody knew the system was messed up but only an outlaw would dare do something about it